ABC7 Bangor. This is ABC7 News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Emma Smith. Welcome to the Noon News. Maine State Police are investigating a hit-and-run incident that killed a woman from South Portland in Winter Harbor on Sunday. Also coming up, residents of South Portland are mourning the loss of a beloved community member who drowned on Saturday afternoon in the east outlet of the Kennebec River. And the summer tourism season in Maine is off to a tough start for some businesses with staffing shortages. Coming up, we'll look at the issues along with the rest of our stories. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. And first, on this first day of summer, let's check in with meteorologist Conrad Sapinski for the latest forecast. Conrad? Thank you so much. And your first weather is brought to you by Luigi and Fredericks across from Eastern Maine Medical Center, serving the greater Bangor area for over 65 years. So another nice day out there today. All that precipitation is staying just to the west of us and out here in Maine. We do have just some lingering clouds that will actually start to thicken up the next couple of days with some more incoming showers. But now today we will have some nice weather with lots and lots of sunshine out there. Just slightly below average temperatures, but still a nice and pleasant day out there before Wednesday into Thursday as more clouds and some on and off rain showers really start to move on in. But temperatures right now staying really on the mild and a little above average as we're all in the 50s out there with Bangor coming in at 56 degrees and even 50s closer to the coast. Look at Rockland hitting that 60 degree mark at the moment right now and temperatures will be rising out there today still slightly below average but around 74 degrees and mostly sunny out there and then tonight once again cooler temperatures in the 40s with mostly clear skies and areas of fog will be possible out there tomorrow another nice day out there with temperatures in the upper 60s but today we will continue to have sunny skies and temperatures rising into the 70s Thank you, Conrad. Maine State Police are investigating a hit-and-run incident that killed a woman from South Portland. Spokesperson Shannon Moss says 35-year-old Nicole McComey died in the incident that occurred sometime between Saturday night and early Sunday morning near the Scudic Education and Research Center in Winter Harbor. Moss says the state police believe this is an isolated incident and there is no ongoing threat to the public. The state police are asking for the public's help in locating a vehicle that may have been involved is described as a 2016 black BMW X3 SUV. It has a main license plate with the number 5614WM and is registered to 35-year-old Raymond Lester of South Portland. Maine says the Ma Moss, excuse me, says the vehicle may have front end front end or undercarriage damage. If you see the vehicle, do not approach it. Anyone with information is asked to call state police at 973-37 3700. You can see that information right there on your screen. And one person died in a fire in Callis on Sunday. According to Maine State Police, the fire marshal's office responded to the fatal fire at a home at 118 Union Street. The deceased is believed to be the homeowner, 61-year-old Ellen Gibson, who lived alongside the residence. An autopsy is scheduled for Tuesday. The investigation remains ongoing. Authorities are investigating after the discovery of two bodies were found in Auburn Sunday morning. According to the Maine State Police, detectives from their major crimes unit responded to 4th Street in Auburn to assist the local police department following a report of two deaths. In a release, the state police emphasized this is an ongoing investigation and said they will provide more information once the victim's next of kin has been notified. They also stated there is no active threat to the public. A West Baldwin man drowned in Aziscohos Lake in Lincoln Plantation yesterday at about 11.30 a.m. Michael Shields, age 54, was attempting to swim to shore after he attached his boat to the mooring in front of his camp on the Alka Flats Road. His wife and father-in-law both saw him go under about 50 yards from shore, and with no cell coverage in the area, they had to drive 17 miles down a dirt road to call for help. The body was recovered near the shore at about 6.30 p.m. 
and was transported to a local funeral home. Residents of South Portland are mourning the loss of 40-year-old Truck Huynh. He drowned Saturday afternoon while fishing in the east outlet of the Kennebec River. Huynh and a friend were on a raft, which wardens say overturned, throwing both men into the water. Huynh's friend, who was wearing a life jacket, made it to shore, but Huynh was not wearing a life jacket, and he did not resurface. Searchers found his body about 20 minutes later. Megan Wilgos has more after speaking to those who knew Huynh about how they would like him to be remembered. He was the epitome of what a true Mainer is. Friends and family of 40-year-old Truck Wynn described him as selfless. To him, it was all about helping his family and his community to helping complete strangers. He used to always have a shovel in the back of his truck in case somebody got stuck in the snow and he had touched everyone's life if you met him for one second. My neighbor who met him for five seconds was like texting me, I hope you're okay, I heard what happened. Right? Patrick like, cast in new truck for 10 years. Interact. On Sunday morning, he received the call, truck drowned while fishing in Kennebec River. I have a calendar invite to connect with him Friday morning that I haven't brought it, uh, I don't have my heart to quite delete yet. On his birthday, Caston says Truck's gift to himself was giving to others, asking his friends to come volunteer with him at Preble Street in Portland. He would either uh, help set out meals, or in my case, I would man the dishwasher because they said I was the best dishwasher they had. Those who met Truck a handful of times were impacted by his presence. He was old school. He was like a prior generation living now. Someone who brought humanity to a time that too often screens, particularly during COVID, has brought folks apart. Uh, he was glue that was bringing people back together constantly. Even after his death, his presence carries on through others, inspired by his leadership. I now need to live more purposefully and make sure that my arms are always open to thinking about all different backgrounds and all different walks of life. Coming up on ABC 7 News at noon, rising gas prices are challenging Maine's trucking industry. When we return, we'll hear from a local trucking company that's on the front line of inflation. That's next. We'll be right back. The weather in Maine is tough on any vehicle. Let the qualified technicians at DNS Auto keep your vehicle running the way it should. DNS Auto, Brewer, Maine, full service repair, routine maintenance, and everything in between. Jamar Construction Products in Bangor continues to grow to meet our customers' needs, supplying products for site work contractors, concrete contractors, and survey and safety supplies. We are proud to be the local dealer for Hilti, Valley Blades, U.S. Fabrics, and Euclid Chemical, plus so much more. Stop by and see us at 1270 Hammond Street or give us a call at 907-4491. If you dig it, pour it, plow it, fasten it, lay it, or lift it, Jamar Construction Products can help you. Rennie's, a main adventure. Main. Lobster. Rennie's. Let's get cracking. Melissa, you can put a win on it. Ah, it seems like you're coming out of your shell. You don't have to butter me up. Thank you for shopping Rennie's. If you've been injured and think you can't afford a lawyer, think again. They got my hospital and surgery bills paid for and got me $250,000. Call the twos. We win for you. The signs of spring are here. The sun's out for the evening commute. Whistles and clapping echo from the ball field. And the flowers bloom with warmer days on the horizon. Valley Home Services offers whole home comfort with the changing of the seasons. With a push of a button on a Fujitsu heat pump, you're ready for whatever spring brings. Humid days or cool nights, come home to comfort with Valley Home Services. Home is our middle name. Too many traffic fatalities are caused by speeding. Hang in there, Michael. Every day, 25 people die from car crashes caused by speeding. Stay with me, Michael. Nearly all these fatalities occur on the roads we drive every day to work, school, and shopping. Michael! Michael! Every time you speed, you increase the odds that your last ride will be in the back of an ambulance. The weather in Maine is tough on any vehicle. Let the qualified technicians at DNS Auto keep your vehicle running the way it should. DNS Auto, Brewer, Maine, full service repair, routine maintenance, and everything in between. You're watching ABC7 Bangor.
The summer tourism season in Maine is off to a tough start for some businesses with staffing shortages. Again, Mal Meyer explains. Or I can give you four gummy worms. It's a big problem for a small business owner. I definitely need more people. I just can't find anyone to work with me now. All Vivian Riven needs is one or two people, but no luck. Anything else for you guys? To avoid cutting store hours, she says she's doing everything from open to close. Seven days a week from morning until sometimes 11 o'clock at night. If it's busy on the streets, we'll stay past the hours that we're supposed to. Down the street, Palace Playland rides are sitting still. They now start up at 4 p.m. instead of around noon, like they did before the pandemic. We have a hard time getting people um, to apply. We have a hard time getting the people who do get in contact to set up um, interviews to show up for the interviews. They've tried $250 referral bonuses for employees with no limit on how many people they could refer. But still, they have about half the number of full and part-time staff they've had in years past. We are still hiring, and the more staff that we can pick up, the more we can start opening up during the daytime. While others are struggling to find workers, some business owners are feeling fortunate to be fully staffed. Go ahead and get the balsamic glaze. It's really a blessing. Brian Maxuga isn't sure what exactly the secret is, be it the atmosphere or something else. Like many in the industry, He's paying employees more. Not only to attract them, but to keep them. You know, valuable employees are one of those things that once you get them, you want to keep them. As gas prices continue to rise, both independent truck drivers and larger trucking company owners have made tough decisions before accepting delivery jobs. A.J. Douglas spoke with local truckers to learn what they're facing on and off the road. Fewer truck drivers are coming through the local Dysars to gas up after diesel prices doubled, then tripled. Not as much profit, not as much uh, people, just not as much business. We spoke with drivers who say that the truck driving industry has always been difficult for independent drivers, but now with repeated spikes in fuel costs, many business owners have had to close their doors. President of H.O. Bouchard, Inc., says inflation prices have made many companies reluctant to accept jobs. You're seeing a lot of local contractors um, hold off doing certain jobs because of the price of fuel. Um, and if there's a job they wanted to try to squeeze in this year, but they're short on people, they're not able to do that. Bruchard knows that he has had to make drastic changes to accommodate record high diesel prices. He says the company has had to raise customer rates along with changing fuel procedures. Restricted some of the locations where our drivers can get fuel because of pricing. You know, bring idling down to a minimum. Um, you know, don't have the truck running unless it's absolutely necessary. Bouchard says fuel costs could potentially cause delays for consumers to get everyday goods. We deal with weekly here at our company um, supply chain issues. The American people rely on trucking to bring them groceries or toilet paper or whatever whatever it may be, water, um, to think that trucks could be down for that amount of time. Both say they doubt gas prices could get any higher than they are right now. In Hamden, A.J. Douglas, ABC7, Fox 22. Maine is producing more oysters than ever. The increase is due to a growing number of shellfish company or farms that have launched off Maine's coast in the recent years. The state's haul of oysters grew by more than 50% last year to more than 6 million pounds. Maine's growing oyster business has made the state a bigger player in the national industry that grows the valuable shellfish industry. The growth has also raised questions from members of other marine industries about whether the oyster business is growing too fast. With Tuesday's business news, here's Leo Jonathan. President Biden promising a decision soon on a holiday for federal gas tax. Experts say that would save about 18 cents a gallon. The national average is currently over $5 a gallon for regular. There's money for infrastructure projects across the country. Taxpayers are now on the hook for a trillion-dollar package from Congress. But there aren't enough workers, and the Wall Street Journal says the shortage is driving up costs even further and forcing longer schedules. JetBlue is making another bid to buy Spirit Airlines. JetBlue now offering more than $3.6 billion. Spirit and Frontier had already agreed to a merger worth about $3 billion. 
And AAA is expecting a record 42 million people on the move for the 4th of July weekend. If that happens, that would beat the high set in 2019. I'm Leo Jonathan with Tuesday's Business on ABC7. Gas prices have dropped an entire penny a gallon in the past week. According to Gas Buddy's survey of more than 1,200 stations in Maine, the average price is now $5.06 a gallon. That's 34 cents a gallon higher than a month ago and $2.02 and .02 a gallon more than a year ago. Coming up, the town of Lincoln is rallying around its police department in a way that says more, in a way that says more than just the thanks. When we return, we'll explain. Find meaningful work and direct care and improve the quality of life of others. The right personality and character traits, in my opinion, to be a DSP is kind, caring, and understanding. Visit caringforme.org to learn more and make an impact through a compassionate career. Did you know that it's possible to buy the wrong type of flooring for your home? Whether you're a do-it-yourselfer or a professional contractor, the experts at Don DeCal Mainwood Floors are here to help, offering solid pro advice from choosing the right material and color to installation. Don DeCal features the highest quality hardwood flooring sourced from lumber right here in Maine, from Maine traditions. Not only will you get a floor you'll love, you'll get a floor that will last. Don DeCal Mainwood Floors, buy from the best, forget the rest. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This local business would like to wish you a happy Independence Day, along with safe and fun celebrations all summer long. Your favorite restaurants for half off. It's half off dining from Fox 22 and ABC7. Here's this week's featured deal. Goose River Farm and Meat Store is conveniently located on Route 3 across from Hammond Lumber in Belfast. They have a wide selection of meat and poultry, including beef, pork, lamb, chicken, duck, rabbit, and turkey. Buy your steak and meats for grilling this summer. On sale Thursday at 9 a.m. A limited supply available half off dining from Fox 22 and ABC7. Find meaningful work in behavioral health care. As a younger person, I find that the most rewarding part of my job is the emotional gratification in seeing my clients succeed. Learn more about compassionate careers at caringforme.org. On the Road, broadcasting the news at 6, live from the Whoopie Pie Festival in Dover Foxcroft, is sponsored by McCusick Petroleum is a full-service oil and LP gas dealer. They offer service agreements and budget plans. Call 564-3406. Dave's World, Maine's leader in heat pumps. Ductless heat pumps are cost efficient to heat and cool your home. Dave's World, awesome. And Centa Theater, come for the whoopie pie, stay for the music. Maze Me Gypsy Jazz Band extraordinaire at the Center Theater, 7 p.m. June 25th. Welcome back. The Lincoln Police Department has received new protective equipment thanks to generous community members. As Sierra Jordan reports, the community donated over $31,000 for their local heroes. These standard old vests only protect police officers from handgun fire, but these new vests, just like the one I'm wearing, are made to stop a rifle bullet. And the best part is you can wear it for the entire shift. I sleep better at night knowing that they've got that protection. Chief J.D. Sparks was previously a sheriff's deputy in Fort Worth, Texas. After moving to Lincoln, Maine in March, he realized his officers needed better protection. Rifle usage is becoming more common uh, when it comes to assaults on officers. One of my first goals whenever I came here was to upgrade the equipment, get them the best uh, safety equipment possible. Shield 616 is a nationwide nonprofit organization providing rifle protection and gear for police officers and first responders. The gear includes a helmet, a vest equipped with rifle rated armor, and ballistic plates. With the help of Shield 616, the eight member police squad will now be protected from all kinds of gunfire. Well, I found it to be very comfortable. The vest I had before was a hand me down, and this was actually. Uh, measured to fit. It's not that bad once you actually get it on. When you're holding it in your hands, it, it feels a bit heavier, but once you actually have it on your shoulders and everything, it, it's not bad. 
Chief Sparks says the cost of the equipment totaled $31,800. Purchasing the new equipment would have been tough for the city to budget for. However, the Lincoln community was able to make it happen. I know that they have to be, you know, protected uh, while they're doing the job. We support them in all our policemen here. In Lincoln, I'm Sierra Jordan reporting for ABC 7 and Fox 22. If you are struggling to maintain a consistent bedtime, you're not alone. With more, here's ABC's Faith Abube. Grappling with sleep routine is not a new challenge, but it has become more difficult during the pandemic. Researchers at the University of Washington examined 250 research papers involving almost half a million people worldwide over a two-year period. They found that the percentage of children reporting sleep disturbances almost doubled during the pandemic. Kids are having problems catching sleep because of inconsistencies in sleep and wake times, the inability to participate in outdoor activities during lockdown, remote learning, and lack of in-person social activities. This trend seems to have worsened over the pandemic, and scientists are curious to know how it'll evolve. Until then, physicians still recommend bedtime consistency and minimizing unnecessary screen time to help with the daily snooze. With this Medical Minute, I'm Faith Abube, ABC News. When we return, Conrad Zapinski has your five-day forecast. If you're a Medicare beneficiary and live in the area, Call now to see how this little card could get you some big benefits, including money added back to your Social Security check. With one toll-free call, you can find out how easy it is to get all of your original Medicare coverage, plus extra benefits. You get an all-in-one plan designed to fit your needs so you can be your best every day. You could have medical coverage, prescription drugs with $0 generics, dental, vision and hearing, plus the WellCare Visa Flex Card, money for over-the-counter items, and money back in your Social Security check each month, and so much more. And here's more good news. You can get a WellCare plan for a $0 monthly premium. How can WellCare offer all of those benefits for a $0 monthly premium? It's simple. Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage are important parts of Medicare. WellCare has a contract with Medicare to offer and provide these important options to you. Call right now to get your free copy of the WellCare All-in-One Guide. Call 1-877-282-3827 now. There is absolutely no obligation for requesting this free information. WellCare offers benefits that go beyond the basics, including up to $840 each year added to your Social Security check to help cover your Part B premium. Call today to get your free copy of the All-in-One Guide with absolutely no obligation. Your free plan guide will give you the details you need to make a smart choice for your Medicare coverage. Just call 1-877-282-3827. Remember, there's no obligation for requesting this free information. So call 1-877-282-3827. Well care. Call today. You know, we're a nation that loves iced tea, and different parts of the country have different ways to enjoy it. For those who live up north, more than likely they like it unsweetened, while southerners are probably big fans of sweet tea. So let me share with you a trick that we discovered that can make any iced tea perfectly smooth and refreshing. We start off like normal by placing some tea bags in boiling water. Then we add a secret ingredient baking soda. We'll let it sit for about 15 minutes so everything can steep. What the baking soda does is remove the bitterness from the tannins in the tea, which makes it nice and smooth. After removing the tea bags, we add in some sugar while it's still warm. This way the sugar dissolves better. Okay, now we add in some cold water and lemon before popping it in the fridge. Then right before serving it, maybe add some fresh mint if you want. Talk about refreshing, and it's the perfect way to stay hydrated and happy all summer long. So right after the news, jump on your computer, tablet, or smartphone, and check out the recipe for our secret ingredient iced tea, along with a bunch of our most popular summertime thirst quenchers. Hey, Kel, come on and try this. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a refreshing way 
for you to say, Ooh, yeah. Ooh it's so good. Waterfront Concerts continues to prepare for the first show of the year at Maine Savings Amphitheater. However, some Bangor residents question whether construction will be complete in time for Thursday night's performance. Concerts are back at the venue for a full season for the first time since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Waterfront Concerts spoke per spokesperson Alex Gray says construction for the 19-month 19 19 project will pause Thursday night. Gray says concert goers can expect improvements to the venue when the project is complete, like expanded restrooms, upgraded seats, and concession stands. He assures those who have already purchased tickets that the work inside the venue is in its final stages. Those interested in attending Waterfront Concerts in Bangor this season can log on to waterfrontconcerts.com to view upcoming shows. And starting today, the Community Connector Service wants input from the public for its proposed bus stop destination project beginning later this year. As part of the project, bus service will change from flag stops to fixed stops. Those stops w were selected based on popularity, infrastructure, and other factors. The goal of this switch is to improve the efficiency and reliability of its service for riders and the features it can offer. A public meeting will be held at Bangor City Hall on June 29th at 5 p.m., where citizens can, citizens can come in person or participate virtually. The company is also currently taking comments until July 20th. You can either call 207-974-3111 or send an email. We'll have that information on our website, foxbangor.com. Right now, let's check your full first day of summer forecast with Conrad Sapinski. Thank you so much. And your main weather is brought to you by Scott's Recreation, New England's largest trailer dealer, home of Maine's lowest camper and tractor prices, locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. So not a lot of action going on out there in the sea, just a couple of feet of water out there with the waves. So not no low pressures out there. Uh, luckily for us, you know what that means, folks. Just some cloud cover and no precipitation here in Maine. We do have a little bit of precipitation in upstate New York and Canada, but all of that is on the lighter end and it will be sticking away out of the main area. Luckily for us, we will just have some cloud cover the next couple of days, but we are not in the clear for long, folks, because more rain is back, especially by Thursday, as it will be more on and off rain showers. Nothing heavy, no heavy thunderstorms at the moment. But temperatures right now, take a look at these temperatures. Pretty mild out there. You would think it's going to be well above average today as they're high temperatures. But it is around 56 degrees right now in Bangor. 56 as well in Bar Harbor. And Rockland being the big winner coming in at around 60 degrees at the moment. But later on today, we will really warm up out there pretty much closer to average. But check out the last couple of days. On uh, Two days ago, we had a high temperature of 50 degrees. So I know that was a lot more of a cooler day out there. In the last couple of weeks, we're around average, maybe slightly below average. And that trend will continue until Friday and Saturday. Look what happens by the weekend. We have some 80s that are back in the forecast. So finally, some above average temperatures will be here and they will be sticking around for a couple of days. But this meter here shows the humidity, uh, humidity levels uh, today, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday being more on the comfortable side before Sunday, being more on the muggy to humid end at that. But at least those temperatures will be in the 80s. But today, slightly below average temperatures and mostly sunny conditions with temperatures around 74 degrees tonight. It will cool down once again out there with places with some dense fog out there and lows in the mid 40s. But our five day outlook does show nice weather sticking around and even nicer weather in by the weekend. That's all for ABC 7 News at Noon. I'm Emma Smith. Thank you for watching.